hello and welcome back again so i'm back again expecting more videos coming up in this video we're gonna look at the curve editor in kden live now a curve editor is new it's not that too perfect to standard um you know control motion things it's just a little bit of helping at this time to control your animation the motion of your animation so let's see how we can do that the best uh, effects that we can use to demonstrate this is the transform as you saw transform is under the uh, transform distort and perspective so to get that uh, let's just apply this to our clip whether applying straight like this or simply drop it into and we have the use all parameters for the transform uh, here we have the x value with horizontal and then we have the y value which is vertical we have the rotation so these are very important parameters that we can also see them in the curve editor so let's jump into the curve editor now here you can see this little icon here it shows the switch to curve editor view so let's switch to that and you can see same thing x y position and then we have the width height opacity and the rotation now it's the same thing again we, we add a keyframe here and we in the x position and moving this up and down you can see going along the horizontal lines and then if we go to y position and if we move this up and down you can see that we are moving up and down vertically and similar things apply to the uh, width and height and then we have the height and the rotation so same things principle apply just as when you use the normal transform without the curve editor okay so it's in uh, its original position again and now you can see that uh, one other thing that you need to know also is uh, moving from uh, horizontal left to right and vertical so let's add a keyframe here and if we move up like this you can see we are moving towards the right side so let's just and you can see it's moving to the right side and then when we move down we're moving to the left side so it's uh, horizontal along the horizontal in the y position we're doing the same thing if we're moving up we're going down moving down we're going up it based on that so you can use this to control the motion of anything that you want to animate now to animate this text let's see how we can do that now uh, simply again reset everything from here and we can start from scratch again okay so i just added a new transform uh, effects onto the effects editor here and we have the transform let's go straight to the curve editor here and then in the curve editor i just want to move uh, playhead here and then change the value of x to uh, 2000 to hide the text and i want the text to come in somewhere here and then slows down and then come to the rest position here and a little bit bouncing too we want to do that let's try to see how we can do that so let's add a keyframe here and then uh, move the playhead somewhere here and add another keyframe again this time we want to change this to 500 and you can see as we change that it moves from the center to the right so our curve is coming down if it's moved from the center to the left it will be the opposite way of the curve okay now so let's uh, place our playhead here and uh, add another keyframe and this time change the value of x to 0 to the original position uh, now you can see that we have a linear curve from here and then it's uh, coming slowly to a stop from here now what we can do from here we can change this uh, keyframe interpolation to smooth and you can see once we do that instead of a straight line linear curve now it's a kind of like a smooth curve the animation is slowly coming down here and then it's speed up but then we can slow this down or we can change to a different uh, keyframe interpolation from here so let's change that uh, let's go to um bounce in and you can see a little jig jig line here kind of like a bouncing in and coming to a stop okay so that's how we can use the cave editor from here and uh yeah hope to see you back again please do subscribe if you have not subscribed support us so we can uh, create more videos thank you again for watching I'll see you back again in another video. I so bright they light the night.